Hey everybody, it's Geeky Girl Adventures, aka Michelle. <laughs> so it's time for a What's Old video. Uh, this is from um, the time period of October 9th through today, which I think is the 24th, something like that. <laughs> These are highlights. These aren't 100% all the, the sales, but it's a majority of them. You can definitely tell it's quarter four. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, not terribly so. I look terrible. Those LED lights are just so harsh on my face. I'm over 50. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this kind of content, um, please make sure to hit like. Sub subscribe if you haven't already. I see a lot of um, views on my videos from non-subscribers. And it's just a click. And it's free. And it helps me out and the channel out um, to grow the channel anyways. But without further ado, let's get to the sales. All right, I sold something probably undervalued how I usually set a, um, what am I trying to say? I usually sit when I'm selling something, I'll do auto accept offers, um, of a, at a certain level. And I put this up for sale for like in the forties and I had accept offers up through the upper twenties. And literally two hours after I listened to this, it sold probably undervalued a little bit, but that's all right. It's a deep lantern that I picked up at a an estate sale. You'll probably see that video before this one comes out. And as you can see, it's in beat up shape. It's really cool. It's a it's a night watch lantern, and the bottom is stenciled. It says city and it says VT. So I don't know if it's from Vermont or what it used to be used for, but picked it up at an estate sale with another lantern you guys haven't seen yet. I haven't listed that one yet as of this video. And I'm guessing I have like $10 into this one, but I sold it for, um, I believe it was $27 plus shipping on top. And it looks like it's gonna go to Japan. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's going to a good home. But now I kind of wish I would have uh, upped the price a little bit. <laughs> it has a frenzel, I, I think that's what they call it lens. It's just, it's a really neat piece. And you can believe I'm going to be bubble wrapping the heck out of this before it goes into a box. I sold a Wrangler pair of jeans that I picked up in an estate sale a few months ago for, oh, I forgot. Oh, for $16 plus shipping. Next item is in bin C. I highly doubt it's towards the top. So let me take it down and dig. I'm glad to sell something from the bins because I'm getting so tight in the bins. I need to sell these things. There we go. Um, sold this for almost $10 even, uh, plus shipping on eBay tonight. This next one is coming from me, and it's one of my older items. It's probably quite buried. So I am going to dig and show them to you. So this was, uh, there was a church rum and sale that I went to, gosh, last year. And, um... I found some Lululemons in a bin. That's it right there. This, this is the pinstripe one. Um, I'm going to put it in some of that plastic before I mail it off. But it's a pair of a size 6 Lululemon um, leggings. And sold them for, took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And it's going somewhere in California, so it's not going very far at all. Oh, where'd I put it? It's up here somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry. I tucked it behind here. So I went through some of my personal collection of vinyl. And I'm like, you know, I'm okay selling this. It's a 12-inch uh, maxi single of the Dead Milkman. Great old punk band. And this particular song is Smoking Banana Peels. <laughs> it's a promotional copy I got when I worked in radio. And it's not worth a ton of money, but I, I sold it for $15 plus shipping today on eBay. I sold a Hawaiian shirt. It's kind of more of a geometric kind of shirt, but it is from the Hawaiian Hall. It, you can't really see the brand. It's like Nat Nast. Um, it's a really interesting white geometric kind of mid-century and modern look. It has a slight little stain in the front. Uh, I don't know if you could, I don't know if you can even see it anywhere here. But, oh, that, maybe that's it? Yeah, that must be it right there. It looks really bad there, but it's really not that visible of a stain. But anyways, um, 
stated that on the auction. It's not an auction, sorry. <laughs> I'll buy it now. And ended up selling it, even with that little mark, for a little bit over $19 plus shipping. Had a great sale out of this bin. Um, I don't know if it's at the top. It might be this one right here. Let's see. I believe so. Yeah. So this is, um, I guess, a very desirable game for PS2. Um, sold it to a guy uh, for $69.99 plus shipping. Um, I got this from an estate sale. And I think I have maybe $7 into it. So that was a great flip. When I listed it, I saw the comps. It has more than 100% sell-through rate. And they were selling for you know right around what i got for it which is great this is in great condition has a manual barely looks like it's been touched so he got a good deal and i'm very happy i started digging in this before i got my phone out i got excited i sold a uh game accessory is it right there that i've had forever it was a bad purchase honestly although i did make some decent money on it finally but it's been I've had it for over a year. It's one of these infinity pads. I picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck or two and just sold it on Poshmark of all places for $14 plus shipping. Posh takes 20%, so I think I'm gonna end up with like a $10 profit when all is said and done. Next is in bin E. It is a video game. Didn't sell it for a ton, but sold it for $5. And it's that one! Hooray! Um, sold it for $5 plus shipping on eBay. My next item is in the new... I finally moved the F box up into the rack. I cleaned up enough space where I can shelve it. So this is pretty packed. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, found it. Bamboo K. Hawaiian shirt. It's kind of, um, I think this is one of those pullover polos. It like buttons to a certain point and then it's, the rest is pullover. Um, anyway, sold it on eBay for $16.45, an odd amount of money, but it's great. Have about what, I have less than $2 into every Hawaiian shirt that I got from that one uh, sale. And I've already got it all wrapped up in this plastic. And one nice thing about having an eBay store is once quarterly you can use it towards some of their own shipping items. And I bought like a box of 100 of these. I don't think I've purse I got it heavily discounted because you get like something like a $25 credit. And this is like the perfect size for something like this because it slips right in. I put a thank you note in there and off it goes. My next sale is in Binet. It's a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, you can't really see the tag very well. It's an island collection. It is a really cool print with um, airplanes and boats. There's an airplane right there and people. And I sold it for $16 and some change plus shipping. Again, this comes from that gigantic Hawaiian uh, collection I bought at the uh, Joshua Tree estate sale. Tammy explains the line. Stop it! <laughs> Pip is being her desk cat. Right, Pip? Yeah. <laughs> I sold this really delightful corduroy heavy shirt. That's an Eddie Bauer shirt. It came from the Joshua Tree sale, the sale that just keeps on giving. Sold it for $17 plus shipping. I was just about to head to bed, but I heard a cha-ching and I want to get this packed up so I can mail it tomorrow morning. Where are you? Okay, it's this thing. It's called a redhead. You can't tell on this lighting, but it's a moss green. It has these leather shoulder pads, and it's a large redhead. And this was the Joshua Tree Hawaiian shirt um, sale. I picked up a lot of interesting shirts at that sale. 
it's still all wonky. <laughs> anyway, sold it for $21.75, plus shipping on top. It's going all the way to Florida. This is a warm shirt for Florida. My next sale is a really nice one. Let me flip you around and show you what it is. Get out of there, young man. Get, get you. <laughs> If you may remember me buying these from a, a garage sale from a couple of guys who had a bunch of mid-century modern stuff. And I don't want to pull both now. Maybe I will. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. So this is one of the two, because there's two of them. These are Dorothy Thorpe Pretzel Lucite Candlesticks. And it's, they're like a heated and twisted and it's in great condition. There are some internal cracks, which you can't really see on a camera. Um, and this one doesn't have the issue, but the other one I know had some like, peeling on one of the metal pieces. Uh, but they are beautiful pieces. Um, I paid 50 bucks for them. I just literally cross posted them from eBay to all my other, um, like, you know, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, like two days ago, I want to say, two, maybe three days ago. And, and I didn't expect much because I had them priced at like 430 something dollars. And they've been on eBay for a long time for less than that. And nobody, a lot of watchers, but no one interested. And I sold them on Poshmark tonight or earlier in the day for $436. Now Poshmark takes 20%. That's like over $87. It's, it took a big chunk of change, but I'll still, you know, end up after cost of goods and everything, almost $300, I think, profit, I think. Wait, let me check my math. Almost. <laughs> Because I, I forgot how much you, I got like 300 and something, 330 something. Uh, but then you have to take away the cost of goods. Well, that doesn't make sense math wise. So after the cost of goods, I'm still making a nice little profit. So I have to pack this up and I have to make sure I wrap it really good in bubble wrap and other protective things because I want to make sure these things stay intact. Uh, they're, you know, really cool Dorothy Thorpe candlesticks. All right. Let's go on to the next sale. The next item I sold is actually self-sourced. I was trying to clean up some of these um, uh, shelves here because I have so many boxes. They probably create more room. Anyways, it keeps bouncing around. I used to work in radio a long time ago. And for the life of me, I can't remember why I have these reel-to-reel -reel tapes. I'm missing the first hour of the show. It's four, sorry, it's three out of the four reel-to-reels for this particular show. And it's the United Station, sorry, yeah, United Station Radio Network's uh, Top 20 Double Play, Mass Show number 95-42. It had aired in October of 1995, or over this weekend it did. So I have hours two, three, and four, and I'm like, you know what? I have no idea what it's worth. There's really no comps on eBay. I put it up for, gosh, I don't know, a little bit over 30 bucks. Somebody... Um, offer 28 and I'm like sure I don't have a reel to reel player otherwise I probably would not part with this but they're in immaculate condition because they were never played I think I mean let me open this up again for you guys maybe there you go it just doesn't look like they've been played that looks like the factory seal so to speak <laughs> um, and all three of them were in that kind of condition so it's going all the way to Florida and I hope the guy has a can enjoy it, has a reel-to-reel -reel player, and um, whoever's on it, probably good music. I came out here to pull my extorter and I see helper number one and helper number two. He blends in. Kuga, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, my next sale comes, it's in this overflowing bin. It's a um, video game I've had for quite a while. And because of that, I probably will have to dig. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, let me dig and pull it out, and then I'll show you what it is. Okay, found it. This one's actually sealed, but it's not a highly desirable game. 
So I got about a little bit over $10 for it, plus shipping today on eBay. That's all I have for you this time. All right, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.